Since the pandemic, lots of companies have gone public and offered their shares to the general people to buy. But have you ever wondered how these companies put a value on their shares? Do they just write numbers on the wall and throw a dart to decide the share price? No, of course not. There is a complete process behind it. And if you want to know what it is, watch this video until the end. Hello guys, this is Shweta and welcome to the world of Wall Street Mojo. What is book building and how does it work? When a company decides to go public and offer its shares to retail investors to purchase, the company may not exactly know how much it should price its shares. The company can come up with a price on its own and enter the IPO process with it. But there is a better way to it, known as book building. Book building is considered the most efficient method companies can use to know the fair value of their shares. So, the book building is an elaborate process and here is how it goes. Number 1. Hiring Underwriter Firstly, the company hires an investment bank to be the underwriter for the company's IPO. The first thing the underwriter will do is identify the issue size and price range for the issue. Next, the underwriter drafts the prospectus for the issue that mentions all the necessary details. Number 2. Investor Bidding The second step in the book building process is that of investor bidding. In this process, the investment bank calls upon several h &I investors and fund managers to bid for the company's shares. The investment bank may contact other investment banks to tap into their contact list and maybe get a deal done. Number 3. Share Pricing After the investment bank invites bids for the company's shares, these are collected and analyzed to determine the fair value for the shares. The aggregate demand for the shares is analyzed and a weighted average method is used to arrive at a final price. This final price is also known as the cutoff price. Number 4. Bidding Process Transparency The companies are required to make the investor bidding process public. Many regulators and exchanges require this to be done. The investment bank then has to submit all the bids received and other details of the bidding process to the regulator and the exchange. 5. Allotment and Settlement Once the bids are analyzed to arrive at the cutoff price and the details of the bidding process are submitted to the exchange, the final step in the book bidding process is allotment and settlement. The allotment process is simple. All investors that accepted the offer to purchase the shares get the shares. But the investors may not have purchased the shares at the cutoff price. Instead, they might have offered to purchase it for more or even less. The settlement process then makes sure that the investors get the shares for the right amount. If the investors had bid for a price higher than the cutoff price, they get the additional money back. On the other hand, if they had bid for an amount less than the cutoff price, then they would be called upon to pay the remaining amount. The book building process has two subtypes, accelerated book building and partial book building. First, accelerated book building. At times, the company may not have the time to go through the entire elaborate book building process. Hence, they may choose to go ahead with the accelerated book building process. In this, the company would contact several investment banks to act as underwriters for one day or a couple of days before the issue date. The issue may be open for a day or two and there is no time to market the issue. The investment banks then have to pitch the issue to their contacts and close the deals before the issue date. Number 2. Partial Book Building Process The partial book building process is the same as a normal book building process. The only difference is that the issue is offered to only select institutional investors. Once they send their bids, the cutoff price is determined through the weighted average process, which becomes the fixed price for the retail investors. Now that you know about the book building process, you should also know some of its advantages and disadvantages. One of the biggest advantages of book building is that it is the most efficient way to determine fair value of shares. Also, since the share price is determined by analyzing aggregate demand for the shares and not based on any price fixed by the company, it is surely an advantage. 
there are mainly two disadvantages to the entire book building process firstly it will cost the company a lot of money if the company fixed the share price on its own it would cost them way less Secondly, the time taken to arrive at the cut-off price in the book building process is a lot. If the company chooses to fix the price on its own, it will take a fraction of time. So this was all about book building and we hope you have learned much from this video. Give the video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll see you at the next time.